so episode two is all about Mike Render, which <clears throat> really makes it easy for them because Render and Remedy are making stories of other people by having people say something and then they conflate it into something. So he's got himself conflating himself and then throwing something out and then conflating what he just threw out with Re Remedy piling on. Um, which is bizarre if you think about it. They present it, present it as a documentary, yet he's the produ paid producer, director, editor, scripter, clapper girl, you know, whatever, everything. And yet it's supposed to be about him. So Renner begins establishing his credibility <clears throat> by saying, if the, if the church believed someone was an enemy and needed to be silenced, it was my job and I did it. Okay. I challenge anyone to go find and cull where Rinder has disclosed in the nine years that he's been out or the seven years that he's been out the specific confession of his having silenced anybody. There's not a single one. I was involved with the guy during, during his entire time over the church's external affairs bureau and was the guy that got him a job. Once he got out, I was the guy that got him job after job after job that allowed him to continue to go after Scientology without having to work. He's never, he's never, he's never given a single specific or particular to back that up. And yet that's how he establishes his credibility for episode one. His second establishment is that he, he ultimately became, quote unquote, ultimately became the head of the Commodore's Messenger Organization, which is the highest management body within the Church of Scientology. And he said that he was one of eight people, quote unquote, that was working for Hubbard. He literally manufactured that. It's a complete lie. He's acting as if he was one of the original messengers on the ship with L. Ron Hubbard. He wasn't. It's almost like everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. The next thing he states, which is the big, the big statement, is my biggest regret and something I can't change now is that I caused my two children to be born into and raised into Scientology. I effectively lost them because I brought them into and raised them as Scientologists, okay? I mean, the guy's already on camera in the exclusive he did for the BBC is saying his greatest regret was something that he said uh, acting as a PR agent for Scientology to a reporter. That was his greatest regret. In fact, they made a whole one-hour program that was built on that foundation that that was this guy's greatest regret, that he was going to now make good on it or now correct that regret. But this is, this is showtime, okay? So now he's suddenly got this new regret. He says in the thing that he, that he says in this, this story that he, that Mike Render says that he moved to Clearwater so that he would be visible to his son Benjamin who was working in Clearwater. I was there, never came up. He moved to Clearwater because I got him a, a free ride gig with a guy that would pay him to do nothing but talk out about Scientology. Nothing to do with Benjamin, his son. Okay. To highlight the point, I don't know, a few months after he was there, Rinder took great offense to the fact that the church was responding to him attacking the church by saying, well, he left his kids behind and doesn't care about them, right? And he would bemoan that over and over and over again, right? And so I said, hey, if it bothers you that much that people are saying that, why don't we go down and attempt to go see your kid? I, it'll, it'll, you know, the church isn't going to let us, and therefore we can put it on tape, and it can show that you did have concern for your kid, but they didn't allow it to happen. Oh, Render was all happy about that. That sounds great. It had nothing to do with seeing his kid, all right? 
because he knew it was going to be rejected. It had to do with his own personal reputation and him responding to accusations that were made about him in public. And when we went to the Fort Harrison, the church's headquarters in Clearwater, as predicted, they said, you can't come here, and they gave us a trespassing warning, you've got to leave. And in fact, we've called the police. So I said, well, hang, let's hang on, let's wait, see the police. So the police showed up, and the police said, we're giving you a trespass warning, you gotta leave. I explained to them why we were there. That Mike wanted to see his son who worked there. And the cop said, hey, I can go in there and see him. And in the presence of nobody, tell him that you're here to see him. And if he wants to come, we'll escort him right out to see you. If it's you're worried, as you say, the church isn't allowing it to happen. Render's like, no, 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 that's okay. I said, no, 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 let's do it. He didn't want to do it. I said, let's do it. So I put him in a bad position, and the cop said, okay. And the cop went in there. 20, 30 minutes later, came back, and he said, I got to talk to him alone, and Benjamin doesn't want to see you. And he's an adult. And it is his red, white, and blue American born right to exercise that prerogative. You know, Rinder has, has, has say it, stated that he was the great warrior for Scientology, right? Without ever disclosing anything he ever did that was nefarious, just saying that he did, that he silenced people and he was the hit man, but nobody ever got hit and there was no silencing we, that we've heard of. And so she, Remedy exonerates him of all this and says, you're fighting now against the church, so you're on the right side of the fight now, end of quote, right? And this is what I'm talking about. He's absolved by the fact that he's on board with this cult. This cult that says they're the enemy and anything you do in furtherance of weakening the enemy is A-OK. -okay. And so, um, and so the, the thing, the, the, the crux of the story that keeps on being replayed with Render is this great um, justification that he must continue to crusade against Scientology because of his two children that are in Scientology, okay? And they omit the fact that he left with Scientology, he left Scientology um, without ever reaching out to or doing, making any kind of gesture whatsoever to any of his family to try to get somebody to go with him or to explain himself or to be talked back or to any of that. He just, he just took off, right? Number one. Number two, he just denigrates his kids. I mean, you know, I have reality on, on one of them in particular because I know his daughter, Taryn. I probably worked more closely with him, with her, than he ever did based on my position in the church because she was in the, in the technical qualifications division. Um, and so I had a lot of back and forth. And I mean, and I've had this conversation with Render. I mean, he knows. I've, I've, I've made this known to him and he hasn't disagreed. His continuing to crusade, his continuing to denigrate Scientology, his continuing to belittle Scientology, okay, is the worst possible thing he could ever do in terms of ever reconciling with his son and daughter. And yet he continues to do it. I mean, it, it, it goes to new extremes in this series with Remini uh, to the point where he, he literally makes statements that, that, are, that are denigrating to, to Taryn and Benjamin personally, saying, there couldn't possibly be any reason, there couldn't possibly be any input in the decision for them to not be in communication with me. In other words, they are just mindless automatons who are taking orders from the church. Well, first of all, he, does, he has no basis to know that because he chose to leave, what, eight years earlier now? <laughs> okay, this, by the way, you know, the time just gets screwed around with. We don't realize this, all this happened eight years ago, right? Nine years ago. 10 years ago. It's 10 years ago now. I mean, that's how long ago this is, and they make it sound like it's all, this is all new, fresh stuff. 
he left 10 years ago with a good riddance, essentially, to them, Benjamin and Taryn. And then he has the temerity to get on national TV and say, they're automatons and they can't make, make up their own minds. Well, listen, I did see a clip that the church publicized of Taryn talking about Mike. <laughs> and I have been no friend of the Church of Scientology, and as I'm watching that, I'm going, that's the Terran I knew. <laughs> that's not acting. I'll tell you what, you know, what's acting is the aftermath group. Terran is t saying, talking about Mike, just like she would talk about Mike 15 years ago when I was there. Okay. But Terran, let me tell you, um, she comes off as credible as she can be, and that is the Terran I knew. Okay. And, um, so what it amounts to, literally, is he's, Mike Rinder's literally being paid by Leah Remedy to go up there and denigrate and call his kids a bunch of uh, mindless automatons and then have the temerity to say, hey, this is all I can do. I'm doing this for my children. It's really sick. It's really twisted.